Hey guys, Josh the RV Nerd here with Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And I've talked a lot about these things. JT Strong Arm Bracers or Jack Leg Stabilizers, whatever name you want to call them. The JT thing's a name brand. But um, I've never really shown how well they work. And they work extremely well is the thing. So right now I have none of them tightened down. This is just the trailer loose so the jacks can go up and down. And I'm not a big muscle bound guy. I've got little chicken arms. I've made no secret of that. And just me leaning on this thing. You can see how much those things can move. You can see how much plays in those jack legs. Now if I come down here, twist this thing down, get it nice and tight. There you go. Just hand tightening a little like quarter crank. Back. Same thing. I mean, I can shove this thing, give it as much as I got. It doesn't do anything. That's the stability gain from one of those jack leg stabilizers. Now, you can add those aftermarket to campers all the time. I see people do it. It's a great way. I think it's an awesome alternative on a fifth wheel to a uh, uh, kingpin stabilizer because it doesn't require you to pick it up and move it and get grease on your pants and, and put it in your storage compartment. But the other thing is, it, it's just there. They're just there when you need them. If, if you're just dropping it off at the house, you don't need this ability, you don't gotta worry about it. You get to your campsite, if the thing feels like it's you know a little rocking and rolling, you crank the things down, you're gonna be good to go. Now, open ranges in their wide body series, they come with these standard because the body's so darn big and the slides are so deep that they don't want you to get tipsy. So they not only include side-to-side -side stabilizers, but they also include front-to-back stabilizers on both the front and rear jacks. So that when you want to lock this thing down, it is like it's on a concrete pad. It's not going anywhere. And the cool thing, guys, is you can add these to like almost any camper. Big, small, in between. They're not terribly expensive. They're not hard to install. I'm an idiot when it comes to using tools, and I'm pretty sure I could still finagle these things onto a camper. Or you could come to a service center like ours and have them popped on lickety split. Give our guys a quote. I don't even have an idea what they run. I just know that we, we toss them on people's campers like nothing all the time. It's easy. It's simple. It's fun. It helps. People love seeing on resale like, ooh, I like those. So when you're done with the camper, no big deal. Or take them off and put them on the new camper. It's not that hard to do. It's not like it's a one and done and it's forever stuck on the rig sort of thing. So I thought I'd give you a handy little quick demonstration, see how that actually works. If you want to learn more about them, you give us a call here at Halo RV or <laughs> just give us a call and buy one of these open ranges and then you don't got to worry about it because they're just already there. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.